welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today, we're talking about the new La Perla lipsticks and lip balm. And the lip balm is a tinted lip balm. It's really more of a soft satin lipstick. It's what I have on my lips right now. First, let's take a look at this beautiful packaging. So instead of coming in a box, this does come in a round cardboard tube. You can, you know, reuse them to store things. I would show them to you, but unfortunately my children absconded them and used them to store beads. So they are nicely constructed and, you know, really nice little cardboard tube. So the packaging here, you've got this gold cap, you've got the LP on the top, and then this has more of the look of satin to it, right? This is like metal. And this has a very strong magnet. You can see how thick the magnetic wall is here. And this one here is the lip balm. So there are two shades in the lip balm. We have this one here, which is called Petal Lips, and there's a red one as well. So the lip balm retails for 54 US dollars. Just a little information from the site. By the way, these items are currently exclusive to Nordstrom. So that is the retailer where you would have to purchase these. And the lip balm delivers a subtle wash of color. This balm glides on with extraordinary ease and adheres gracefully to your lips. Shiny polymers provide a gloriously comfortable cushiony sensation and a subtle sheen that is not too glossy. It's deeply nourishing and protecting too, with a formula containing luxurious argan kernel oil that promotes deep moisturization and active fruit extracts that shield against aging and oxidative stress. So that's the description for the lip balm. Again, there are two shades and I like, this is like a couple layers of it. I will show you lip swatches in a little bit, but first let's start off with just some arm swatches while we are discussing these. But you can see that this is like a creamy formula and when you build it up, you can get it much more pigmented. Now, these do have a scent they remind me of what the Chantecaille Lip Chic smell like now and the Kosa lipsticks. It's kind of like that vanilla scent, but these are a, it's not like a completely natural lipstick, but they do have a lot of ingredients that they have taken out. So both the lipstick and the lip balm, they are made in Italy and there are no parabens, sulfates, phthalates, mineral oil, silicone, talc, D5, or fragrance. So the scent that you smell is actually just the ingredients used to make the lipstick. So it does smell more like a natural lipstick or like um, the, uh, let's see here. So I mentioned the Kosa, but also the Cure Weiss. So it kind of, you know, has that scent. And to me, the Chantecaille Lip Chics, now that they've added the fragrance to that, it smells like that, but they have extra vanilla in there. So it, it kind of, it's that without the so much vanilla, if that makes sense. So if you're familiar with any of those, that's kind of the fragrance that you'll get with this. And again, it's not technically added fragrance, but it's the fragrance of the ingredients used. Now, the lipsticks come in the same packaging, and I picked up two of the shades. The majority of their lipsticks are red. This one here is Venetian red. And by the way, these are 0.12 ounces. And... Look at that. So you can see that this is a cool tone red and it's pretty pigmented in one swipe. You know, if my arm didn't curve there, you can see, you know, it's pretty pigmented. You really don't have to go over it more than once, but you can. And then the other lipstick that I picked up is the nude shade. So they only have one nude shade at the moment. This is called Nude Red. And here, let's build that a little bit more. So these are the three that I picked up. Now about the lipsticks, these are a high impact of a matte finish with luscious silky comfort. One effortless sweep is all it takes to sculpt and define the lips, drenching them with long lasting intense color and hydration in an instant while protecting lip lips against dehydration and environmental stressors. And these retail for $56. So they're $2 more than the lip balm and you can see the shades here are fairly pigmented so the lip balm itself is going to be a light sheer application um but it's pretty pigmented it's not like some of those tinted lip balms that you get that have more 
of a clear lip balm and just a slight tint, you can actually use this as more of like a balm style lipstick. And just to show you the um, bullet on this again, you can see that this isn't just like a straight thing, it actually curves, it's a little concave here, which allows it to, this one's actually one of the lipsticks, by the way, <laughs> let me show you the beautiful imprint on here. But you can see that because of this concavity, it does allow it to kind of hug your lips. So it goes on very nicely on the lips, but gosh, that imprint is just gorgeous. Let me show it to you on the red too, because sometimes, you know, you can see it a little bit better on some colors versus others, but look at that. So the lip balm has no imprint. But the lipsticks, I mean, that's just a stunning, stunning imprint. And you can see here's here's a lip balm, so there's nothing on it. You can see how creamy it is. It's soft, but it's not like super soft, like it's gonna break. Now, as for the shades here, Petal Lips, you can see is going to be kind of like my shirt. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a rosy pink shade. It's pretty neutral in uh, uh, undertones. Venetian Red is going to be a cool red. And Nude Red, I don't really see much red in it. I don't know why they call it Nude Red, but it's really more um, more of a brownish nude with the slightest hint of rose in it. And those are the three that I picked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and share the lip swatches with you while I share my thoughts. And let's start with the lip balm. So I find the lip balm to be very comfortable on the lips. I think it has a nice amount of shine to it. I actually really like the lip balm a lot for like a light lipstick. I wish they had more shades. I do hope that they bring out like a nude shade. I think that would be gorgeous. The only thing is I'm, I'm not thrilled with the scent of the lip balm or the lipsticks. They are the same scent. And again, it's just that natural scent that you get in lipsticks in some of those clean brand lipsticks. So, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just whether or not that bothers you. So... Yeah, that that's kind of like the one con to the lip balm. I find the lip balm to be very hydrating and it really does feel cushiony on the lips. I, If I had to pick formula wise, I prefer the lip balm over the lipsticks because I do think it has a nice emollient creamy feeling without feeling heavy on the lips. It's kind of like a medium weight. And um, yeah, I love the amount of shine that I get from this. So I do really like the lip balm a lot. Now the lipsticks, I also like the lipsticks. I can't say that I love them. They are not my favorite formula. Again, uh, like some of the other brands that have more natural leaning ingredients, not that these are all natural or anything, but uh, some of the others like Cure Weiss, those formulas feel a little bit thicker and, um, you know, cause they don't have like the silicones and things in there to kind of help with the glide. So it's like a, a little bit of a thicker, creamy formula. And that's true of these as well. So these are a little bit thicker, heavier on the lips than some other, you know, common lipsticks. Now, I personally don't find them to be too heavy, but when you first put it on, you kind of notice that it feels a little bit thicker. And as I wear it, I kind of forget about that. And I have to say though, the, the pigmentation really does last. Um, it's not it's not transfer proof or anything. It definitely transfers, but because it is such such a thick cushiony formula on the lips, you're going to have color remaining for quite a while, even though you're wearing some off, if that makes sense. Uh, so again, these have the same scent as the lip balm, which is you know natural ingredients and. It's just, it's not my favorite, so I don't love the fragrance. I have to say though, I really love the way the Venetian Red looks on my lips. I love the color. The Nude Red color, I wish was a little bit cooler. It's got a little bit of an orange cast on my lips, and it, it's kind of like it oxidizes a little bit because when I swatch it, it doesn't look quite as orangey, um, you know, right away. But if I leave the swatch on my arm for a bit, yeah, and I'll show you in a second, it does get a little bit orangier in my opinion. So I think it's just the nude red I don't love. Um, so for the lipsticks, I like them. I think if you are looking for something that is, you know, without parabens, sulfates, 
phthal phthalates, mineral oil, silicone, talc, D5, and fragrance, these are a good option. If those are things that don't really matter to you, then there are other lipsticks with a similar formula that I prefer. Now, as for the fact that these are considered a matte lipstick, they're considered a matte silky lipstick, I actually don't find them to be all that matte. They're really more of a subtle sheen satin, in my opinion. So there is still a little bit of a sheen. It's very subtle, very soft, but because of that creamy texture of the lipstick, it's not gonna be anything like a powdery matte or anything like that. It's definitely a creamy lipstick. It actually reminds me more of the traditional lipsticks from like many, many years ago, those like creamy lipsticks. It kind of feels more like those on the lips and it has more of a similar sheen to those. So think precursor to uh, powdery mattes. There's definitely no powdery texture in here. And the powdery mattes, one of the things that they do, it, it does kind of allow for a thinner texture on the lips. And this is definitely gonna be a little bit thicker. So just something to note. Now, overall, I would have to say out of these three, my favorite is the lip balm followed by Venetian Red and then Nude Red. And, uh, you know, I like them, but they're not, they're, they're not a love. So I do like them. I'm glad I tried them. Um, you know, I definitely can see myself wearing these, particularly the lip balm. I think I will get a lot of use out of because it is a light, easy color to throw on. Um, but you know, I'm probably good on picking these up. If another shade comes out, that's like really drawing me in. I, I would probably pick it up because I do I do still actually like these. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. And uh, before we move on, let's look at a few shade comparisons. All right, so here are the shades. I just wanna show you this. You can see like when I swatch it here, it looks a little bit pinker. And then after it sits for a while, it gets a little bit deeper. It's kind of like it oxidizes a little bit in my opinion, for the nude red. They, they just look slightly different. Um, so that's that's my thing with that. But let's do a few comparisons of colors for these. All right, so let's start with a few comparisons. This one here is the Chantecaille Lip Chic in Lupine. We're gonna put this right up here. And you can see Lupine is gonna be a cooler tone pink. And then we also have a Lip Veil from Chantecaille in this one is in Pink Lotus. And you can see that this is going to be more similar, but again, it is going to be a little bit cooler still than the La Perla. Now, the Lip Veils are a thinner formula than the Lip Chic. I would say that the La Perla is kind of in between the two of them. It has more of the texture of the Lip Chic, but it doesn't have that like shine to it. The amount of shine is more like the Lip Veil. Let's move on to the Nude Red comparison first because I've got... Um, not a ton of space for the red. So this is the Beige Ardent from Chanel. See that here? So this one I think is fairly similar, but the Beige Ardent has just a little bit more of that reddish pink look to it, in my opinion. And then another Chanel one is 227 Beige Rougissant, which is a little bit warmer in tone. So you can see that this one has yellow golden undertones. So it's kind of like a mix of these two for the La Perla. Now, one more, I forgot to swatch this one. This is really more just for shade. This, oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking this might be similar to the shade of the La Perla. This is the Guerlain. These are the new uh, velvets in 530, I think it says. Oh gosh, they make it so hard to read. They keep the numbers down here, but this is the, the pink one. So yeah, that's 530. And then for the reds, let me re-swatch the La Perla so we have some space with that. And we have a few comparisons here for this one. So this one here is Venetian Red. I mean, look at that. And look at how that glides. I, I have to say, I do really love the way this looks. Uh, very, very beautiful. Now for reds, this one here is another one of the new Guerlain mattes. You can see it's much more sheer. This is going to be a cooler tone red. This is going to be 880. I believe it's called Ruby Red. And you can see just how much richer 
the La Perla is. It's just, it's got more depth to the color. Then we have Lantardy from Givenchy, which is gonna be a little bit warmer. It's more of a neutral red versus this cooler red that has you know, just like that, a little touch of like a burgundy depth to it without being burgundy. This is the Dior 999 Velvet, which is just slightly warmer than the Givenchy. And here we're gonna put on top the Lisa Eldridge. And here on top, this is the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon. And you can see, you know, that this has much more pink undertones to it. It is going to be cooler in tone. You can see out of all of these, the La Perla is definitely going to be the most opaque and the creamiest looking. So it's just, it's a completely different texture from these in general. And yeah, those are all of my comparisons. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please do so. That really helps a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Again, final thoughts on these are, I, I like these, they're just, they're not gonna be a favorite, but I like them enough that I would purchase another color or two if one really pops up. The lip balm, I will be using quite a bit, I think. So thank you so much, and I hope this was helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. So have a great day, and stay safe and healthy.